next tonight, the deadly earthquake rattling New Zealand. The 7.8 magnitude quake, which hit just after midnight, blowing out windows, knocking items from shelves, and triggering a tsunami warning. Here's ABC's Jennifer Eggleston on the moment this massive quake struck. Cell phone video capturing the terrifying 7.8 magnitude earthquake. The massive tremor striking just after midnight on New Zealand's South Island, killing at least two people. Dramatic video revealing flattened homes, landslides blocking a major coastal highway. Overnight, frightened residents taking refuge in the streets. The tremors impact so violent, roads cracking open, supermarket shelves emptied. Everything started shaking and then it got worse and got worse and it just didn't stop. Nearly two hours after the first jolt, tsunami sirens urging coastal residents to get to higher ground. But already more than 50 aftershocks shaking the region and more are likely. Central New Zealand was rocked by a powerful 7.8 magnitude earthquake, which killed at least two people, damaged roads and buildings, and set off hundreds of strong aftershocks. New Zealand Prime Minister John Key described landslips in the area as just horrendous. In a statement seen by Reuters, Key said of the likely damage bill, you've got to believe it's in the billions of dollars to resolve. Key told Civil Defense Minister Jerry Brownlee after flying over the coastal town of Kaikoura, according to Brownlee's Twitter account. It's just utter devastation. A strong aftershock with a magnitude of 6.2 shook New Zealand's South Island on Monday, and that's after a 7.8 magnitude earthquake rocked the same region earlier on the same day, triggering landslides and a small tsunami. The quake struck South Island just after midnight in a mostly rural area. Near the epicenter, it caused fissures in roads and started landslides. Two people were killed. The quake caused damage in the capital Wellington, which is more than 200 kilometers to the north. The Lord spoke with me this night about the judgment that is coming finally spoke to me about this. And that's normally the fear I have when I come to a country that there is going to be a problem. So the first thing is this, I was kneeling down and praying because normally, as I said, if it makes it involves me, I already live there, I see the day, mm. I experience it. I was kneeling down to pray. And then a lot of spiders and scorpions, some black, some brown, began to bite me. Mm. As I was kneeling down to pray, they were biting my feet. Mm. Yes, so it was terrible because I knew they were poisonous. Yes. yes. They stung me and I knew they are poisonous. Much more venomous than snakes. Mm -hmm. Yes, so I got up in that conversation, yes, I got up and they were all over. And they were walking all over the house. And when I looked at the houses in New Zealand, I saw them also full of these spiders and scorpions, the other houses now. Yes. Number two, and then the Lord showed me, of course he was speaking by both voice and showing me this. It, it was quite a packed conversation. Then he showed me nude women, mm -hmm. women only with underwears, mm -hmm. underwears, underwears. And then he, the voice of the Lord said, this is what goes on here. Mm -hmm. This is what goes on here. Mm -hmm. Yet I also heard him say, this is the kind of game they play here. I almost heard that also, mm -hmm. kind of game being played here. Yeah, but the voice said, this is what goes on here. And then the, 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 the nude women, that voice, and then the fourth one, then the hand of God, his hand wrote, you know, on the white paper, like exactly this kind of font. Yes. Yes. Repent. Yes. Exactly this capital R small word, repent. When the Lord speaks, it covers this nation. Yes. And I don't even know whether that is an earthquake, an earthquake, or the other details. Mm. I really don't know. Is it an earthquake?
In New Zealand, there is a lot of damage after that magnitude 7.8 earthquake. But this is going to cost billions of dollars. There's no doubt. The infrastructure here, the buckled roadways, the rail systems, the homes now. Uh, you can see uh, uh, this home here right on the rupture line. And they're now reporting there were several fault ruptures in the region. Uh, but again, the big problem is that the town of Kakur is cut off. This is uh, Interstate uh, State Highway 1, and this is one of several landslides. It's going to take weeks to fix this. New Zealand has been hit by a second powerful earthquake only hours after a 7.5 magnitude tremor killed at least two people. Some communities on the country's South Island remain completely cut off after the initial quake badly damaged roads and other key infrastructure. The tremors have triggered a series of major landslides as well as a tsunami of up to five metres high, forcing thousands of people to flee to higher ground and authorities have warned the worst may not yet be over, with fears more aftershocks may follow. Well, we tried to get to a doorway and it was so violent then that I fell down. My partner got slightly injured and um, it was just incredibly violent. <laughs> 